Hyaline Cartilage Connective Tissue. This is made for Anatomy 10A Lab at Mount San Antonio College. Remember we have four main tissue types in the body, epithelial tissues, connective tissues, nervous tissues, and nervous, uh, nervous tissue. Uh, right now we're going to talk about cartilage, so we're going to zoom in on connective tissues. Remember, it's characterized by scattered cells. In this case, because it's cartilage, it will be chondrocytes. Uh, outside the cells, though, we will see matrix that are semi-solid because it's cartilage. Um, and, of course, connective tissue is never found on the surface. Remember, a cartilage is under the heading of supporting connective tissue. And there are three types. We already talked about fibrocartilage. cartilage. We already talked about elastic cartilage. Here we're talking about hyaline cartilage. Okay, here, here's a picture of hyaline cartilage. Uh, common to all cartilages, we have chondrocytes in lacuna. Okay, remember, chondrocyte literally is uh, translates into cell, site to cell, chondro is cartilage, and lacuna is that space that these chondrocytes live in. So that little white space where you find the cell, the chondrocyte, that will be the lacuna. That's pretty obvious in all cartilages. Uh, now, this is hyaline cartilage, and notice the matrix. If you pay attention to the matrix, it's not like fibrocartilage, in which you saw the waviness of the collagen fiber pretty clearly. It is not elastic cartilage, it's that you saw the thin, fine, irregular lines of uh, um, elastic uh, fibers. Nope, instead you see neither one of them. But instead you have this kind of homogeneous uh, background um, in the matrix. Now, Figure out a word to describe this in your mind, but for me, I call this watercolor. Okay, when I look at this, it reminds me of a watercolor painting. Uh, and that matrix, that watercolor look, for me, along with the chondrocyte and lacuna, is hyaline cartilage. Now, hyaline cartilage is the most abundant in our body. Okay, unlike fibrocartilage, where it's only found in a few places, and the elastic cartilage where it's only found in the ear and the epiglottis, hyaline cartilage is found everywhere else. Such as, well, we have our embryonic skeleton. Once upon a time, we started our skeleton with hyaline cartilage. Uh, now, as we, uh, you know, after birth, we have hyaline cartilage at the ends of long bones in our joints. We have uh, Hyaline cartilage in our ribs, as in this picture here. We have hyaline cartilage in our nose, in our trachea, and our larynx. So our airway. Hyaline cartilage is another look here. Once again, you have your chondrocytes in lacuna, and the matrix has that watercolor look. Okay. Here's another view. Okay, these are chondrocytes in lacuna. Okay, chondrocytes in lacuna. But if you look at the matrix, no fibro, uh, this is not fibrocartilage because this is not collagen fiber, you see here in the matrix. And of course, there are no elastic fibers, so this is not elastic cartilage. Instead, you get this very homogeneous uh, watercolor look. Homogeneous means it's very constant. It doesn't change a whole lot. Same thing here. From this point on down is all of the hyaline cartilage. These big things are chondrocytes in lacuna. Okay, high power. You clearly see the chondrocytes in the lacuna. Okay, chondrocytes in the lacuna. And then outside of the lacuna, that would be the matrix. And the matrix here looks very similar to each other, uh, and it looks like a watercolor, so is hyaline cartilage. Another look here, as you can see, okay, all of this here would be hyaline cartilage. These big cells are uh, chondrocytes in lacuna. And if you look at the matrix, yes, it's a little bit darker than the last slide, because probably because of the dye that's stained with, 
but still, you don't really see the distinct elastic cartilage to call this elastic, uh, I'm sorry, you don't see the elastic fiber to call this the elastic cartilage. Uh, this is more of a watercolor type of look, so this is highland cartilage. Okay, this is a beautiful picture of highland cartilage. It definitely shows you the chondrocytes in the lacuna. It shows you the matrix here with a more homogeneous, a more constant look throughout. And it reminds me of a watercolor image. So it's highland cartilage. No elastic fibers here. No collagen fiber visible with the waviness. Same thing here. Notice that watercolor background, the watercolor matrix. No elastic fibers, no collagen fibers. Yes, we have these giant cells called chondrocytes in lacuna. Another look. Notice the matrix is more homogeneous. It looks very much alike. No collagen fibers, no elastic fibers. What we do see are large chondrocytes in lacuna. Another look, highland cartilage. Definitely a watercolor type of matrix. No elastic fibers, no collagen fibers. We do see large cells in a lacuna, so these would be chondrocytes in lacunas. Great watercolor. You know, it doesn't get anything better than this. Okay, great watercolor matrix with large cells in white spaces called lacuna. So there you have it. That's highland cartilage. Another good specimen here. Lots of watercolor type of background. And we see chondrocytes in lacuna. This is highland cartilage. Another look at highland cartilage. Okay, even on small, low power, this is the trachea. You should recognize this as pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. It's okay if you don't see that because it's very low power, but I'll just tell you what it is. And here would be the rings in the trachea. That would be hyaline cartilage. Notice large chondrocytes. Okay, these are large cells. And then that watercolor background in the matrix. Another look at highland cartilage. Great watercolor in the matrix here. And the chondrocytes in lacunas. Another look, okay, another very good specimen here. Very much like a watercolor effect here with chondrocytes in lacunas. So it's highland cartilage. Okay, hopefully you're getting the hang of it by now. More of the same. Another highland cartilage with large chondrocytes and a watercolor background or the matrix. This is low power, but still you can see these are little tiny chondrocytes, okay, in lacuna. And the matrix in between them is more of a watercolor type of look. So this is highland cartilage. And here, once again, that's the trachea, that's highland cartilage, and this is pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium, that's inside the trachea. And that's it.